Okay, juniors, with a short week, we've just got a couple things to do. I've put up two exercises for past, present, and future tense, as well as just kind of a wrap-up writing assignment for number one ladies detective agency with our summative assessment to come after this week. But anyway, for perfect tenses here, we're just reviewing the concepts that we learned last week. We're just mashing them to the other, together for the first time so that we can see if you can differentiate between the three. So the first of the two exercises is going to have sentences like this. It's going to have a verb highlighted. I have driven across the country several times. And all you're going to have to do is write which tense that is. Is it past, present, or future perfect tense? Well, because we have have in front of it, have driven, we're going to know that that is present perfect. All right. Next, before he was sick, he had eaten a family-sized bag of Takis. Always a bad idea. That one's going to be past perfect. And make sure in your exercise that you're writing which it is. Past perfect, present perfect, or like this last one here, future perfect. By the time this school year is over, I will have worked up the courage to ask out my crush. I recommend it. The worst thing they can do is say no. So future perfect is what you're going to do there. So you do that exercise. That's one. The second and final of the two exercises this week is going to have sentences in it. And it's going to request that you fill in the blanks with a certain perfect tense of the verb. Before we went to the sequel, we... And then I need the past perfect of watch the original movie at home. Well, that's going to start with had, and then we're going to have the present participle of watch, which is just watch. Kind of boring. Not too difficult right there. The next one, we blank. We need a future perfect of visited 12 states by the time this road trip is finished. We know that future perfect is going to have will have in front of it. And again, the verb here is pretty boring. Will have visited 12 states. The last one, though, present perfect of give me her word that she has my back. Well, present perfect means we're just going to put has or have, and she has, she's not going to have, and this verb changes a little bit. The participle is going to be given. So she has given. That's it. Those are your two exercises this week. Again, it's the concepts that we covered last week, but this time just putting them in the same exercise and seeing if you can differentiate. All right, get those two things done, and that number one ladies thing should be less than a day or two of work for you. Enjoy that MEA break.